Hey guys, today I'm going to be opening this uh, Cyber Power PC. Uh, we ordered this on Amazon. It was seven eighty, basically seven seventy nine and change. Uh, and the reason we bought this is Tammy needed a new computer. Hers is pretty old, so we needed a new one. Uh, this one is a, a low end, like entry level gaming computer, and which will be really good for her to do video editing and stuff like that. So that that's why we got this one. Uh, and I looked at it, normally I build my own computer. Um, I parted this out and it was going to end up being $100 more if I built it myself and I wouldn't have had the Windows uh, 10 included, so I would have been an additional cost. So this was actually cheaper pre-built than I would have got it uh, built it myself. So, so there you go. So I'm just going to read on the side. Um, this one is a Windows 10 Home, comes with it. You get an Intel i5 7400, 8 gigs of memory, an AMD uh, Radeon RX 580 with four gigs of memory uh, video card, a one terabyte hard drive, comes with a Wi-Fi USB adapter, it comes with networking, of course, too. Comes with a keyboard, the mouse, and a one-year warranty. So that, that's the deal with it. So, you open the box up, and it was delivered by um, UPS, and it got here within a couple days, so it's not bad at all. Um, okay, let's see, this is your, Keyboard looks pretty interesting. Don't know if Tammy will want that or the one she's using now or not. Whatever, we'll see. Uh, this was the motherboard. Hope there's not. Hope I don't want to put it together. I didn't think so. Uh, <laughs> they just gave us all the box. There's the Wi-Fi adapter. So if you wanted to hook this up to the wireless network, you could. Um, here's the mouse. Here's what it looks like. Looks like a, a, a basic gaming mouse. Um, these are uh, color bezels for the case. And um, your power adapters. Let me just open it real quick. And I'll, I'll show you what I mean about the case. But it comes with, comes with a book with some software and stuff like that. Your driver software um, and your instruction manual for your video, I mean your uh, motherboard. Power adapter or power plug. And these go on your case. And like I said, I'll show you those in just a minute. Um, you can customize your case a little bit. And then this is the actual computer itself. Is there anything else over there? I don't believe so. All right, so I'm gonna have to. Yeah. So they used the box that the case came in, which is a Cooler Master Master Box Lite 5. That's that's what's actually the case that they uh, put this in. So if you want to look up details of the case, you can. And here's what I always do. I just take it and I lay it down and flip it up. And go slow because you don't want the you don't want the cardboard to fall off while you're while you're doing that. And remember those colored uh, plastic bezels? You can actually change these out. So the red comes on it here and here. You can change this red out for the, what were they, white and black? No, I don't remember. White and something. White and black. So you could change those out if you wanted to with different colors. Uh, this is how it looks in the side. It's got packing stuff in there. Which is good. I like it that it has the packing um, stuff in there because it keeps the, you gotta remember it's pre-built, so everything's already in there. So this keeps it from all from shaking around in there. There's the inside. And what I was curious of, 
was where you can put hard drives and stuff at. It looks like um, there's a hard drive down in there that I can see, and I bet you access it from the other side. There's one down in there. That's your one terabyte drive. Um, it looks like it has room for one more. I tell you what I'll do is I'll come back in just a second and take off the other side just so I can show you about I, I got to get a screwdriver for that. But um, uh, it looks pretty nice. It's a good good size video card. It's not a really a small, cheap one. It looks like it's a nice video card. One stick of memory. Um, I don't know why they didn't do dual stick it, but that's okay. Usually you want dual memory to stick, but this has got one. It's okay. Um, the fans are, are comes with one fan in the back and three in the front. Three red fans in the front. So give me one second. Let me open the other side up. I want to see how those hard drives are mounted in there. But it looks like you can get at least one solid state drive right here um, on this little bracket, this mounting plate right here. And you know, like a small two and a half inch uh, solid state drive. And then the uh, regular hard drives, I think, go on the other side. So let me, I'll be right back. Okay, it does have, there's your one hard drive right there. And it looks like it has a slot for another hard drive. That's what I was wondering about. Nowhere does it say um, how expandable the hard drives are. So you can put another full uh, three and a half inch hard drive in there and it comes with a mounting um, tray to do that. And like I said, you can do one solid state drive on the other side of this one. And this is your power supply. It feels like it comes with a bottom filter. I can feel something underneath there. I don't know. Yeah, there's the filter. Okay, here it is. So it's a really, it's really, it's really not much of a filter, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, that's more of a, a filter in name only. Uh, I don't know what that would filter out, but I guess it could filter out some dirt. Uh, really big pieces of like uh, pet hair and stuff like that may that may stop that, but that's about it. Um, so overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I think it'll, I think it'll be really good. So anyway, I'll, the next thing I'll show, Tammy does want this changed out. She doesn't want the red, she wants the black. So uh, I may um, look in the direction and see how to, see how to change all this out, but then, uh, but that's it. So anyway, the next time you'll see it, it'll actually be up and running. All right, figured out how to take it apart because I had to look at the directions. Um, you basically take the front the cover off. So you just grab this on the front and pull it towards you and I'm kind of pushing against the, the back. And it comes off like that. <laughs> And then there's screws for like the top. You just take out these two screws. And uh, on the website, it actually said if you really wanted to, you could print these out yourself. So if you had a color of, of these, you could 3D print your own if you really wanted to. So I don't know who would want to do that necessarily, but you never know. Here's that one. Make sure they're popped in at the top. And the bottom one's the same way, it's got four screws. There's another one of those filters. It's just, like I said, I think those filters are literally made just to keep out like big things like, like hair and stuff like that. Nothing, no dust. It's not gonna keep dust out of them.
you just push it up and then put your screws back in. So that's, um, I won't torture you with putting the screws back in, but that's what it, that's what it looks like once you uh, once you get all the, the new ones on there. It probably blends in a little bit better. I had to take off this top piece again because it actually has a filter uh, that I didn't realize was on there and it just kind of, it's a, like I said, these are very flimsy little filters. So I'm gonna just, if I can get it, I'm gonna take it off. Well, anyway, I'm gonna take this filter off <laughs> and I don't have anything small to grab it with. There we go. <laughs> I had to actually get the, the razor blade out, a knife to, to, to get it out of there. Yeah, and it just basically presses in there and then put it back in there. All right, now to pop it back on, you literally just set it up against there and push. That's it. So that's what it looks like with the black instead of the red. It doesn't, doesn't it's not showy. Um, when it turns on though, these, these fans are going to be lighting up red, so um, you will still get red in there. Okay, I've got everything plugged in. Here's what the case looks like with all the lights on. Um, it's got a red light a ring in the back, um, and it's got three red ring, rings in the front. So that's your fans. It looks pretty nice. I can see this being a dust and hair collector though, just to let you know. Um, and if you're in a rough and tumble environment, it'll probably get scratches all over it and fingerprints. But if it's sitting under a desk, it should be okay. And then the desktop, here's the keyboard, first of all. That's what it looks like plugged in. The keyboard's not bad. I don't mind the keyboard at all. It doesn't light up, so it's not a really fancy one, but it, but it is, uh, I mean, the keys don't light up. So it does have a little bit of light up with the logo and stuff, but it's nice. The, the keys feel, uh, okay, they're a little loud and chunky and clunky. But, uh, but they feel good. They're, it's a rubber dome keyboard, so it's not like, uh, it's not springs, like a really high-end uh, gaming keyboard. So it, it's not like a $100 keyboard, but it is a nice keyboard. The mouse, I do have to say the mouse is kind of, uh, it's cheap. I hate to say that. It, it'll, it'll get you by in a pinch. It's, it'd be like, this is like our, um, like a bonus keyboard, I mean a bonus mouse, just in case we need to use it for something um, extra, but it's very cheap feeling. Um, so anyway, and then, so now I'm just setting it up. I'm installing updates right now, copied some stuff over, installed Firefox. That's about all I've done so far. I did use the wireless adapter in here, plugged it in, works perfect. So straight out of the batch. And let me show you the back real quick. Um, the only other complaint I would have necessarily, there's the red from the back. Um, it doesn't have a lot of USB ports. It has, there's two USB three ports here. And there's two regular USB ports there and the one I've got it plugged into. And then you got your network connector. And then this is the display port, which you're not going to use because that is um, um, for the built-in video and you don't want to use that. And I think that's a display port, but I can't swear to I can't read it. It's way too small for me to read. Might be a USB-C or something like that. I can't tell. It says Type-C. Yeah, so that's a USB-C. Type-C and then HDMI. Yeah, HDMI, is, that's it. The HDMI is for the built-in video card. We're not going to use that. But that is a, I'm pretty sure, USB-C connector. And then you're not going to use these video connectors either. And what's funny is it has the old PS2 plugs. If you have an old PS2 keyboard and mouse, I can't even imagine having one of those nowadays, but you never know. And then you've got your uh, connectors for the, the um, sound card down in the bottom. And then you got two additional uh, USB 3 connectors on the front and a um, headphone and microphone jack in front too. And then as far as the display back, back here, you've got one DMI. Um, it's a DMI I, I believe. You have to have the little, if you look at your cable, I'll just unplug it real quick. If you look at your cable, you have to have that little dash and that little minus sign in there and hopefully you can see that. Okay. Um, you have to have that. If you have a regular DMI cable, it does not have that. You have to have the one with the little dash in there. And then it's got two HDMIs and two um, uh, DisplayPort adapters on the back. So what I'll end up doing is I will run this on this monitor and Tammy's main monitor, I'll run HDMI to and that's how we'll hook it up. But it has, you can hook up to three or four monitors on this thing at, at one time. So looks pretty cool. It's very, very quiet. If I can shut up talking for a second. Not a lot of noise, not a lot of fan noise. So that's good. It's definitely quieter than what we already have. Um, and then in the dark, if, it's, if your room is dark, 
that's what it looks like inside the actual case. So it's pretty cool. Pretty nice little computer. Um, it runs much, much faster than what she has now. And it runs pretty much as fast as far as what I've done so far as what mine does. So that's pretty cool. 